because the loose soccer image has been tarnished after the person who wore one of the uniforms was arrested for having sex with an underage girl. I'm Eric James. I'll answer that question tonight at 6. Only seven miles separating Halstead and Bentley, but the two towns say they are miles apart on a school bond issue. So we will have that story coming up. And local military and war experts speak out on how a war with Iraq would affect the rest of the world. Hi, I'm John Mooney. Susan has the night off. Your news is next. Covering Kansas at 6. Cake News on your side starts now. He's a favorite of many Wichita kids, but tonight one of WSU's mascots is in jail for allegedly having sex with minors. Good evening, everyone. Michael Atopka was one of two WSU mascots. Friday, Salina police charged him with seven counts of indecent liberties and criminal sodomy and one count of solicitation of a child. That's your lead story tonight. Police say Atopka met the 15 and 13-year-old Salina girls in an Internet chat room. The 15-year-old's mother discovered Atopka was allegedly having sex with the girl. Atopka will be back in court February 6th. Now, the job of the mascot puts the person very close to a school's youngest fans. As Cake's Eric James reports, the arrest won't change the way Wichita State selects its mascots. It's a mascot among mascots, the Woo Shock, WSU's most recognized image. The main criteria to be a Woo Shock, the ability to get a crowd going. No background check needed. And we take great joy in the Wu image. Vice President of Student Affairs, Ron Capita, says Michael Atopka met those requirements. Atopka was one of two students who donned the Wu Shock uniform. There are expectations placed on individuals on what they should or should not do, how they should behave in a public setting uh, when they have the Wu costume on. The key words, when the Wu Shock costume is on. And what happens uh, when he's not Wu, uh, not wearing the Wu costume, is really a very, very separate issue. Students like Sarah McAndrews agree. Students are free to live their own lives however they, they wish, you know, illegal or not. It's not really the university say. It was Atopka's alleged outside activities which got him arrested. Salina police say Atopka was sexually involved with two underage Salina girls. Police say he met the girls in an internet chat room. There's not a whole I don't think they could do about it ahead of time for not knowing and not having any way of knowing or even screening that. I don't think that there would have been a way to know. School officials say at this time they have no plan to change how the selection process for Wu Shocker is done, nor do they plan to start doing background checks on those who try out to be a mascot. At WSU, Eric James, take on your side. School officials also say the Wu Shock costume is always on in a public setting, and at no time has the mascot ever left off alone. We have new information tonight on the inspections in Iraq. A progress report delivered to the Security Council this morning. In that report, weapons experts have found no evidence of prohibited nuclear weapons in Iraq, but they say that some chemical and biological weapons remain unaccounted for, and Iraq has not cooperated fully with the inspection program. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Colin Powell says Iraq is running out of time and must comply immediately if it wishes to avoid war. The issue is not how much more time the inspectors need to search in the dark. It is how much more time Iraq should be given to turn on the lights and to come clean. The questions surrounding a possible U.S. invasion of Iraq are the topic of worldwide debate. Tonight, Cake's Jennifer Bocary talks with Cake's political and military experts about the ramifications a possible war could have on the rest of the world. Our troops are almost in place and ready for the order. We're making one of the most massive deployments that we have in, since 1990. But cake political expert Dr. James McKinney believes if President Bush gives the order too soon, it could be dangerous for the world. Dangerous and it's also uh, scary. McKinney says if we do invade Iraq, what's to stop other countries in the world like India from invading Pakistan or China from invading Korea simply because they may use nuclear power in the future? All of these are really scaring many of the world's leaders because they see the rules of the game being changed. It's going to be much different than it was the last time. But Cake military expert Paul Muring believes other countries will join in on this game, siding with the U.S. Unless they want to be left behind, they're going to have to step to the fore and they're going to have to be in there with us when it comes time uh, for us to do what's necessary. 
Even if U.N. inspectors conclude that an invasion is not necessary, our experts believe it's too late now. We're putting this into position that war is almost inevitable, whether it's going to be sooner or later, that's the question. I think it's going to be sooner rather than later. What happens then may be impossible to predict. Jennifer Bocari, Cake on Your Side. As the situation progresses, you'll be seeing more of these experts during CAKE's continuing coverage of possible war with Iraq. As United Nations weapons inspectors give their first report to the Security Council and President Bush gets ready for his State of the Union address, fewer Americans support the prospect of war in Iraq. According to the latest Gallup poll on the Iraqi conflict, a majority of Americans, 55 percent, say U.N. weapons inspectors should be given more time to carry out their mission in Iraq. Americans who favor an invasion of Iraq has dropped from 61% six months ago to 52%. The number opposed to an invasion has grown 12 points to 43%. About 78% of all Americans don't think Iraq is complying with UN requirements. The margin of error, by the way, on that poll is plus or minus three percentage points. Do you consider the work of UN inspectors in Iraq a success or failure? Give us your opinion by voting in our online poll. Just go to cake.com. Watch for the results. We'll bring them to you tonight on Cake News at 10. Wichita police make a major arrest in the fight against drugs. Police say they were serving a warrant in the 5,000 block of East Pawnee Friday night. When they got to the house, they found 21 guns, a working meth lab, marijuana, cocaine, counterfeiting material, and explosives. They'll be charged with intent to sell and other drug-related charges later this week. Tonight is expected to bring words that parents, teachers, and administrators at a local school are dreading. Their school will be closed. Both early childhood centers provided education to pre-kindergarten and kindergarten children since 1990. Well, tonight, the school board is expected to decide to close it as nearby Allen Elementary is expanded. The decision not going over very well with parents who say Booth provides a special environment unlike any other. For the pre-K and the kindergarten, they can come. They're not intimidated by older children, and it's, it's been a great program for my sons. Tonight at 10, CAKE's education reporter Beth Jett will bring you the action taken at the meeting and how it will affect the students and the staff. A Kansas broadcasting legend is dead. Mike Oatman, who co-founded Great Empire Broadcasting, passed away in a Texas hospital. He died from liver cancer this morning. Larry Hatterberg remembers a man who listeners loved and the man who loved them back. Where'd all these people come from, huh? What is this? <laughs> there is nothing Mike Oatman loved more than talking on the radio to all of his friends, and he had thousands. Mike Oatman came from nowhere to create one of the most recognized franchises in radio, the persona of old Mike, except his wasn't fake. That's right. In the end, he and Mike Lynch created one of the most successful radio broadcasting companies ever, known as Great Empire. It was. He was part of Cake TV's Old Mike and Mogi show that introduced the Kansas audience to unknowns like Shania Twain. Shania, what made you say that? But on radio or TV, he was just <laughs> Old Mike. <laughs> Following the sale of Great Empire, Mike was dealt a blow with cancer. He took it on like he did the rest of his life, even writing about it in his newspaper column. Maybe if I wrote about it, and maybe if I shared it, that people would catch it early like I did. And, and it wouldn't be such a terrible thing, you know. Folks will remember old Mike as being one of them. He was, and always will be. Mike Oatman was 63. In a perfect world, there would be no accidents. Hospitals would be empty, and everyone would live a long, healthy life. We don't live in a perfect world. That's why there's cake on your side. One station dedicated to helping Kansas families live better, safer lives. Sorting through the facts, sifting through the confusion, providing solutions. It's what we do every day. That's cake on your side. Sensations are back. Eating good in the neighborhood.
Now you can get a $2,500 cash allowance on Grand Cherokee. Or financing as low as 0% APR. Which should put you at ease on any terrain, be it off-road or on. Because, hey, you're bound to get lost once in a while. See your local Jeep dealer. No money down, no interest financing, no payments for up to 18 months. That's right, and it includes everything AirPro sells. New furnaces, air conditioning, replacement windows, vinyl siding, even service on existing heating and air conditioning units. No money down, no interest financing, no payments for up to 18 months. Do you find that hard to believe? No, I'm just thinking about how busy we're going to be. Call the ladies of AirPro and take advantage of no payments and no interest until the summer of 2004. Dependable service and protection. And now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Ben Pringle. Well, it was a milder day statewide today, particularly across western Kansas, where we had a few record highs set this afternoon. As warm as 70 degrees in several locations, still in the 40s, 50s, and 60s out west. Still hanging on to the low 40s here in the eastern part of the state. Wichita is at 43, Hutchinson 44, 40 or so in Salina. We have had south winds, 15 to 25 generally over the eastern half of the state today. They have settled a bit over the last hour or so. But, oh, yes, another cold front's going to come dropping south southward overnight tonight. It doesn't look like it's going to bring any threat of precipitation. But north winds, a bit breezy on the backside, and I think we'll feel those breezy north winds here in south-central Kansas by, oh, mid to late afternoon. Really a pretty nice day for the most part through southern Kansas with the colder air really not making its way in here until later on tomorrow night. Very mild temperatures up through the eastern slopes of the Rockies this afternoon. Temps, as I mentioned, as warm as the low 70s, eastern Colorado, western Kansas. Still chilly off to our east, Omaha at 32, 40 in Kansas City. Had a few clouds move across the state last night and early this morning, but uh, that made way for sunshine this afternoon and helped out by those south winds. Temperatures much milder, somewhat milder in the east, much milder in the west. By midnight tonight, that cold front moving into our northern counties. Really, the bulk of the day tomorrow looks pretty nice through southern Kansas. Cooler air certainly in the north by afternoon. Then I think those breezy north winds will kick in statewide late tomorrow into tomorrow evening. And it uh, looks like kind of a chilly midweek. Wednesday starting out a bit on the cloudy, chilly side. But I think sunshine will return by Wednesday afternoon. And really, this particular snap doesn't look like it'll last too long. Pretty nice looking seven day looking for you. 33 in Hayes tonight as well as Salina. About the same in Hutch and Wichita. South wind 7 to 15. South winds tomorrow not as strong as today. Although north winds will take over by afternoon and they'll be a bit on the breezy side. Cooler in the north. Still mild in the south. Wichita side around 56. Your seven day planner where your weekend's always in view shows us uh, cooler for Wednesday with sunshine back by afternoon. Wednesday's highs in the mid 40s and then we'll rebound Thursday into Friday. Slight chance of precip there. It looks like late Thursday into early Friday. Doesn't look very promising. What does look promising is a spectacular start to the weekend. Sunshine Saturday and highs in the upper 50s. Cooler by the first part of next week. I don't know. It's already Monday and we're looking forward to Saturday there, but it sort of sticks out as the nicest day of the next seven. So. I guess we timed that one just right. That seven's a pretty good upgrade from what we had recently, though. It's very decent. <laughs> Almost all those were above average for yep. January. All right, we'll take it. Yeah. Still to come, do you have a question you would like to ask Wichita's mayoral candidates? If so, Kate can help you. The details coming up new at 6. And a Kansas school district prepares to vote on a more than $7 million bond issue. We'll hear from both sides of the debate ahead. Kate News at 6. Dependable service and protection. Wake up to something good with any of our three delicious breakfast platters, plus fresh Minute Maid orange juice. Hey. Hey. Not used to seeing you here this early on a Saturday. Saturday. I'm Joe Conklin. At Conklin Cars, we dare to do the unthinkable. We've gone to 27 states to get exactly the right new car and trucks for our customers. But if you think that's impressive, watch this. 
Ow. Did I mention we post the price in the window of every used car and truck? Conklin Cars. Call 1-888-3-CONKLIN. A great deal is on the line and online at conklincars.com. Classic Impressions by Trey Allen has an exciting portrait contest for your little ones to enter. The third annual Classic Kids Portrait Contest will offer over $8,900 in prizes within four categories. To enter, make a $25 donation to the Sedgwick County Zoo and choose a portrait package. Your child's picture will be entered into the Classic Kids Portrait Contest with the chance to win prizes from Classic Impressions, the Sedgwick County Zoo, and Cracker Jacks. Call Classic Impressions for more information at 729-7600. Brought to you by these sponsors and Cake on your side. A father and son searching for ancient secrets. It's a code. But when the stakes are unlimited power and wealth, who can you trust? I can do this. And who would you sacrifice? I'm sorry, son. No! Veritas The Quest. Premiering Super Monday. ABC Tonight at 8, 7 Central. As the number of out-of-work Kansans grows, a holdup in the legislature is making them wait for their much-needed unemployment checks. Find out why at 10 on Cake News. We have an update tonight on a proposed bond issue for the Halstead Bentley School District. Voters will head to the polls tomorrow to decide whether they should pass a multi-million dollar plan to improve their schools. It's a proposed $7.48 million bond issue, which means the owner of a $100,000 home in that district would pay... $13.21 more in property taxes each month if the bond issue passes. As Kate Shelley Hansel found out, some voters don't think it's a good time to raise taxes, while others say the timing couldn't be better. Lloyd and Mary Fletcher live in Bentley. They are on a fixed income, and that's why they plan to vote down the school district's bond issue. The condition the economy is in now, and they just, well, they don't see how we can afford it. Kim Hall is a business owner in Halstead. She is voting yes for the bond issue. Even though our economy is, you know, down, I think because of the 30% that we can get through the state, the 30% funding, that it's a positive thing. The plan calls for updates and improvements to Halstead High School, Halstead Middle School, and the primary school, which is in Bentley. Halstead Bentley Superintendent Dr. Tom Bishard says one of the main issues the bond monies will address is safety. Not one of the three uh, district schools have an adequate tornado shelter. Nothing even close. Bishard knows there are people who oppose the plan, saying there's too much money going toward improving sports facilities and not enough going into the classroom, and that there's too little money going toward Bentley. could certainly uh, respect various viewpoints on it. Uh, obviously, it's a difficult issue. I think what it boils down to is... Uh, does one have a short-term vision or a long-term vision? So now voters have to decide if this plan is what's good for the two communities and the school district as a whole, but most importantly, what's good for the kids. Shelley Hansel, Cake on Your Side. Now the polls will be open from 7 till 7 tomorrow. There are three sites within the district where people can vote. The Bentley City Hall, the Scout Cabin in Halstead, and the Halstead High School. So far, 15 Wichita say they want to be your next mayor, but many voters would like to know more about the mayoral hopefuls before they go to the polls. If you have a question you'd like to ask, email us at askthecandidates at cake.com. Your question may be included in the survey we give to all the candidates. Thousands of Wichitans are out of a job looking for ways to make ends meet. But money that could help these unemployed workers through the hard times is stuck in the state capitol. Our community advocate investigates tonight at 10. But first, we are live in Lawrence, KU, taking on Texas tonight. Hawks trying to hope to avoid uh, three, losing three straight since the first time since 1994. We'll have a live report coming up. And on Wall Street today, fears of war. The Dow down 141, the Nasdaq down 17.
Fox Pet Entertainment tonight. Michael Jackson's white skin. How he went from this to this. More secrets from his former plastic surgeon. He does have vitiligo, which is a skin whitening disease. And new Joe Millionaire as things heat up between Kevin and the girls. Plus a Ben Affleck exclusive. Only on E.T. Don't look for it in other places. And on Thursday, our tribute to Friends. For the first time in the nine-year history of Friends, I'll be hosting Entertainment Tonight from their set. Next E.T. Monday at 6.30 on Cake. The Cake on Your Side community advocate team can help you with a problem. Call 946-1331 or reach us on the web at cake.com. It's Chinese American cuisine at its finest. Welcome to the brand new Jade Palace restaurant. Enjoy grilled salmon with salt and pepper shrimp, sesame chicken, beef broccoli, seafood, pepper steak, and much more. Our extensive buffet has something for everyone and every taste. Quality food at great prices, seven days a week, serving lunch and dinner. Seniors and large groups always get a discount at Wichita's delicious new dining experience. Located at Kellogg and West Street, it's Jade Palace. For nearly 20 years, Chrysler Town & Country has defined performance and luxury in a minivan. And today, it defines value with 0% financing for 60 months. Or get a $3,000 cash allowance on select models. Then enjoy standard features like second row bucket seats, power locks and windows, and more. Plus, get our 770 Powertrain Limited Warranty. Chrysler Town & Country. Refined elegance. Redefined value. Only at your Chrysler dealer. Ciao, I'm Luciano Pavarotti. Hello, I'm Placido Domingo. You've seen the world's two greatest tenors. Now the Wichita Grand Opera presents Verdi's Il Trovatore, January 31st, and Puccini's Tosca, February 1st. The Majesty of Opera, featuring the legendary Russian state opera with a cast of hundreds, lavish costumes, and beautiful scenery. I hope you will treasure it and support it. For tickets, call 262-8054 or visit TicketWeb.com. Paul Hogan. <laughs> That's settled this way. And now, Cape Sports with Alan Show. Hey, folks, it's always exciting when the Jayhawks threw things up on Big Monday, but tonight's game is much bigger than most. The Hawks host number three Texas tonight in a Big 12 game that is just simply huge. Our Jeff Herndon has made the trip to Lawrence tonight and will be lucky enough to see the game firsthand. He joins us live with Preview, Jeff. Thanks a lot, Alan. Well, number one, Arizona was here on Saturday. Hawks hosting number three, Texas, tonight. In the words of Roy Williams, where's Alva Martek when you need him? Jayhawks may need a break, but they're not going to get one tonight. Of course, Hawks coming off a disappointing second-half effort against Arizona, leading by as many as 20 in the first half. KU shooting a nice cold 29% of the second and lose by 17. If KU hopes to beat Texas, Kirk Heinrich says the Hawks can't afford another second-half letdown. You know, they're a great team. Um, I think they got, like, all of I think they got almost all their players back from last year. Um, we just want to step up and play better. You know, we play, I think we played, you know, really good for 20 minutes and then bad for 20 minutes. And, you know, I mean, at this level, you got to play for 40 minutes. And uh, that's the bottom line. Jayhawks come in at 13 and 5, 3 and 1 in the Big 12. Texas is 13 and 2 in a perfect 4 0 in the conference. Kansas looking to avoid losing three straight games for the first time since 1994. And hey, the Hawks haven't dropped two straight home games since 1989. Jayhawks will again be without Wayne Simeon tonight. He is still nursing that sore shoulder. Tip off at 8 o'clock. Of course, we'll be here live in Lawrence for post game reaction tonight at 10. Alan, we'll throw it back to you. Okay, Jeff Herndon, look forward to seeing you tonight at 10 o'clock. Hey, the top 25 looking, looking like this. Uh, a lot of changes except for the top two this week. Texas, of course, is third. Duke falls to fifth. Oklahoma is sixth. Oak State is ninth. Kansas drops six spots to 12th. Creighton falls to 16th. Everybody's going down. Mm -hmm. Missouri is hanging on at number 25. The K-State women, by the way, remain third in the women's poll. While Jeff will be watching the Kansas-Texas game, I'll be at this one, a little less hype, but always a fun time. The war on 54. Friends playing Newman tonight at Newman. It's the school's 50th all-time meeting with Newman leading the series 34-15. to In fact, Newman has won nine straight and 15 of the last 16. Not much of a war. Highlights tonight at 10 o'clock. 
Yesterday's Super Bowl was bad news for former Chiefs quarterback Rich Gannon. He was picked for a Super Bowl record five times. Three of those were also returned for a Super Bowl record three touchdowns. But the news for ABC was a little better, even though the game was pretty much a blowout. The ratings were up 3% from last year and was actually the highest rated Super Bowl dating back six years, 1998. But it's a game you can bet Rich Gannon won't be watching again anytime soon or be wanting to watch again anytime soon. And it's too bad because so, so many fans who don't know Rich Gannon uh, don't realize how good he is. We certainly do. You know? The MVP of the NFL this yeah, year. Yeah, great player. Yeah. Tough game, though. Yep. <laughs> All right. Forget the Bucks and the Raiders. For many Super Bowl fans, last night was more about the new TV ads than football. Coming up new at 6, find out which commercial took home the prize for being the most unsheep like Walmart. Always low prices. Always. At Fizzoli's, we don't have to make fancy commercials to sell our breadsticks. We think a few nice pictures like this will do just fine. Because when you eat at Fizzoli's, you can enjoy as many of our fresh-baked breadsticks as you like. Hot, hand-buttered, and fresh from the oven. So you can have your fancy commercials with your fancy actors like this. I really like you. Me? I'll take the breadsticks. Fizzoli's. Deliciously honest. The Brahms Hot Fudge Sunday. What a beauty. If there's a standard for great Sundays, it's the Brahms Hot Fudge Sunday. It tastes as good as it looks. We start with two big dips of Brahms Premium Ice Cream. Pour on rich, thick hot fudge, toasted almonds, whipped cream, and crown it with a cherry. The Brahms Hot Fudge Sunday. A real beauty. An unmatched good taste. Looks good, doesn't it? Brahms makes everything better. I had perfect vision until one day I couldn't see details at a distance. The diagnosis? Wet AMD. Grandma! If you have a blurry or blind spot at your vision center and straight lines appear wavy, wet AMD might be to blame. With wet AMD, central vision gets rapidly worse. Call 841 study to learn about a wet AMD research study. Qualifying participants will receive the investigational medication or Visudyne, an already approved one. It's your vision. Call to learn more. The Lexus ES. With front-wheel drive and available vehicle skid control, it'll help keep you on the road. Assuming you can find it. Find Schofield Lexus in the Schofield Auto Plaza. on it go to the new cheaptickets.com with new fair search technology and lower prices than ever or call now for new travel deals on hotels cars condos and vacation packages now there's one travel site that charges no online booking fees save five to ten dollars per person cheap tickets the best kept secret in travel Finally tonight, the results are in on last night's Super Bowl commercials. Advertising agency Sullivan Higdon and Sink selected Domla Chrysler's Dodge Ram Beef Jerky spot as this year's most unsheep like ad. The winning ad honored with the coveted Lombardi Trophy and, of course, a case of lamb chops. h and blocks Willie Nelson's spot and Anheuser-Busch's Zebra referee also got recognition for being unique. I kind of like the Mao. That was a good one, too. The, the, oh, the yow, yo yeah. thing. Uh -huh. that, was, that was pretty cool. But uh, <laughs> Some good spots. Yeah, yeah. A pretty good game, too. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tonight. Of course, highlights of the big uh, KU game tonight, too. We'll see you tonight.